Hello, 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 and welcome to the channel. Today we are here with Origin Yachts to have a look at this 2010 Swift Trawler 34. So this is a boat built by Beneteau. It has had a very, very successful production life. Very popular. Pretty much, I think, I could be wrong, but pretty much led the original charge for the modern trawler yacht. Gives you a lot of space very very easy boat to maneuver around well, as you can see this one's finished with the blue uh, hull aft gate here leading on and off to a really usable teak set bathing platform canopies all the way around the back so you can take them out take them in lift up just this one to gain access if you want to here we have a fold down stainless bathing ladder so you can get on and off the bathing platform but because we are moored side two here with a rather nice finger pontoon, we're going to use this rather fabulous side gate. So here you go. We can access through the side gate. I'm just going to take a little walk forward actually just so you can see the foredeck. We will have a look at the foredeck. But it just gives you an idea of the size of this boat from the pontoon. It's quite a lot of volume to these guys. And it's got that very, very sort of recognisable flat windscreen trawler look. So as I say, we are going to board through this side gate here, which if you can see, if you're single-handed sailing, is brilliant because it's one step onto the boat. Step number two takes you into the helm position, which takes you on board. But we are going to go here. We're going to board from the stern, or go to the stern. This is a wind door, so the idea with this is... If the wind, if you're facing into the wind, which you normally do if you're sitting at anchor, the wind would normally blow down here and would make your aft cabin a little bit chilling. And your aft cockpit, sorry. So you can close that door off, like so. And there you go, stops the wind blowing down the side. Now you'll also notice a feature of these boats is the asymmetric side deck. So you'll notice this side where you've got the side exit and the cockpit door, you have a very deep bulwark with a nice wide deck on the opposing side much smaller side deck we'll have a look at that when we are out in fact let's go and do that now let's go and look outside now so the idea is this is very much your berthing side nice chunky side door two steps up takes you to the fore deck and again big wide side decks nice high handrails big space here for your sun cushions which i believe this boat comes with anchor handling gear at the front which is very much sort of small ship lumar ball uh, winch and anchor winch and then in here nice big storage locker and in there you can see there's a remote control for the anchor winch a couple of sturdy cleats another locker this side there's some fenders and then if we follow it round you'll notice that the side deck this side is raised so it's not sunk and it's a little bit narrower it does cut in a little bit because there's a storage locker here which we shall have a look at while we're here for your gas bottle and your water intake it's quite nice that's sealed and on a little strut but obviously because it's raised side deck the rail is a lot lower but it's still still quite you know it's still decent width Lots of anti-slip, non-slip uh, non surfaces, but again, if we look at this side, you can see quite logically how it drops down. And if I shut this gate off here, and step in here for a moment, you can see how much more reassuring it is if you're in a sea and you're walking down this side. So there you go, that is the outside. While we're out here, let's go and have a quick peek up on the flybridge. So this is the cockpit space. In true trawler fashion, it's, it's very much unladen. There is a pop-up seat over here. There's another door that we looked at from outside that takes you onto the swim platform. And there's switches here for your un, uh, Lumashore underwater lights. There's a massive hold sort of storage locker in here. Let's have a look and see if we can open this bad boy. While we're here. So there you go, that is, you would have to agree, quite a decent sized lazarette. Lots and lots of storage, it's all lined which is quite nice. 
little ladder down and then over here you can see the Fisher Panda 240 mains voltage generator. So let's drop that back down. If I can get it down, bear with me. Oh, there she goes. Both the catches down. And there you go, let's have a look upstairs. So, nice la large ladder with good grab handles. Takes you up onto the flybridge. Forward on the flybridge, you've obviously got the helm station and little upstairs dinette, which is quite nice. Single helm seat, which is a swivel chair. And then you've got fairly conventional helm setup, which is a repeat pretty much downstairs. So, you, steering wheel, autopilot, which is a nice feature. Usual engine gauges, Raymarine GPS navigator, trim tabs, and this benefits from bow and stern thrusters. Sorry about that. It's um, got a single Cummins inboard diesel driving a shaft. Little table here, which is quite nice. And then really, really large aft deck. Now the idea with this aft deck is you can use this crane or winch, whatever you want to call it, here to winch your dinghy out of the water. So down there effectively, off the bathing platform or over the side. And you can then chock it up here, keep it out of the way, or you can just use this as open deck space. Current owner, I believe, has some folding deck furniture, sort of steamer chairs that they put in here, or you can put towels or cushions or whatever you fancy. Pretty much your choice, but you do get a true sort of trawler mast so there's a TV dome up there enclosed radar floodlight and an omnidirectional TV zone if we just take a quick look forward you can see from this upper helm position how good the visibility is now bearing in mind that obviously you can come alongside on the starboard side and you can see back through the helm through the cockpit flybridge door you can see the pontoon really nice as I say proper little ship this door folds down there's a little stay across there to stop it folding down when you don't want to but it does mean you can effectively put all the covers over here because there's storage underneath that unit put all the covers on here and steer from down below talking of down below let us go and have a look oh I wouldn't suggest going down wooden steps in socks though so this is the saloon so it's double fold doors. So these doors fold in two sections. So you can open a small section if you want to and you're at sea and the weather's bad, or you can open the whole thing up as we've done now. And just to recap, you can obviously remove all of these canvas covers here and have this sort of whole inside outside feel to the boat. Couple of director's chairs here and then all of that side section there. So what would normally be the side deck has been utilized to give covered space. The engine sits under the floor here, so I'll drop in a picture of the engine bay. And then there's a fold out table here, which you can use for, for dining or you know, full size dining. And this little sofa here also is a fold out sofa bed. So you can fold that out and give yourself an additional double berth. This potentially then sleeps six people in effectively, if you like, two cabins plus the saloon. In true trawler style, it's very much galley up on the port side. Again, there's more storage down here. I'm not gonna open every cabin cupboard, sorry, because you know what a cupboard looks like. Very large opening windows on both sides and over that side. And it's a, very much a full working galley, as you can see. Nice double sink, large, large storage drawers in here. Brilliant fiddle cup storage. So the idea with these fiddles is these things don't move around when you're at sea. Double gas burner hob and a full gas oven and grill. Stainless steel splash up, which is quite nice, and then a storage bin here for just about anything you want. But you can really start to get a feel and a flavour for the trawler lot yacht view. Really big windscreens, near vertical, 
so the visibility forward is really really good you can then see the side access door over the side there's a decent sized double helm seat this whole unit here slides backwards and forwards and there's a fridge under here like so this piece of wood here folds down so I get it to fold down like so so the idea with that is if you're going in a helms in a big sea and the boat's moving up and down you can stand on here and it just gives you a bit of a raised viewpoint over standing on the floor we'll just put that back up and there's a little cupboard in here what's in there oh our access to the back of the fridge always handy let's put that back up so now we're at the downstairs helm full size very much little ship steering wheel you can see through there that there's a controller for the uh, warm air heating system as mentioned before it's a single Cummins diesel engine on a shaft balanced and thruster repeaters down here usual switches Lenko trim tabs then the autopilot controller GPS system helm indicator key and then fuel gauges and RPM gauges and bits and pieces so that is let's take a couple of steps back so galley to port helm to starboard and then a few steps down takes you to the accommodation because the door is open we will head all the way forward first bit of storage under the floors here it's quite nice they've got this sort of synthetic teak laid floor which is really really hard wearing single door like so takes you into the fore cabin which gives you very much a centre line, very large, incredibly large double berth. Now bear in mind this is a 34 foot boat, 34 foot boat. Little sofa arrangement down here for your getting dressed. And then you have a large, large hanging locker on both sides. It's quite nice, there's a little porthole there. There's the, as you would expect, emergency escape hatch um, and forward ventilation hatch. Second porthole over that side. So you can get a nice cross breeze or through breeze through the portholes. More storage in there and again quite a deep locker. So if we then head back out you can see the steps back up to the saloon and underneath here are all the switches, master switches for the battery isolators and the trips. If we take a turn to the port side, we then have double berth cabin in the form of bunks. And again, it's quite nice. Porthole there, another opening port there with a little curtain on it. And then there's down here is a little storage cupboard. That black circle is your Eberspatcher warm air heating vent. And that's just for the sake of it. Let's have a quick look under here, shall we? Okay, it's just a hole in the floor for storage. So if I go into this cabin, you can see, because it's that trawler yacht effect, there's really, really good headroom. And over the far side, it's on the starboard side, there's another door, which takes us into the heads. So there's a single heads on this boat, but you do get a decent size one. So full size shower, which is really nice and it's quite nice as well it's a separate shower so you're not pulling the shower out of the sink opening port light mirror lots of storage down below there's a big hatch and i'm guessing i could be wrong because i've not looked at this yet but i'm guessing this probably gives you access to there you go look at that back of the helm proper little ship so if anything goes wrong you have pretty much got access to all of your marine electronics here all the relays, all the Raymarin equipment, fuses, and even back of the hydraulic steering system. And it's quite nice actually, it's, on a, it's got a sealer, so it's a watertight door. Well, not watertight, but certainly water resistant. And there's a couple of quick access hatches here and here. And if we turn around behind us, is the loo itself. 
It's quite nice because it's got an electric pump loop, but it also runs on a freshwater flush system. So you're not going to get all the smelly seawater coming in that you'd normally expect. Also quite nice in the new look, you've got the hot water vent there. And in here, another big storage cupboard. And also, as you'd always expect in a bathroom, a bit of cross ventilation. So you can open the fore hatch, open the deck hatch, sorry, open the side window and let all that shower water steam away. So there you go. That is a Swift Trawler 34. I have to say, I really do like these boats. These are very much the kind of boat that you could spend a good few days on. There's headroom absolutely everywhere. At no point are you crouching down or ducking your head to go in anywhere. As I mentioned, you've got this beautiful walk around side deck. So you go through here, you go onto the fore deck, turn to starboard, sorry, turn to port, take yourself back in, and you can then sit yourself up on the helm station, and there you go. So, thank you to Richard at Origin Yachts for letting us have a look around this Swift Trawler 34. For more details, check out his website and please like and subscribe. And any questions, let me know. I will also put all of the engine details and the technical spec in the details below the video. So yeah, any questions, let me know or contact Richard. Appreciate your time. See you next time around.